Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Fintrust. Let's start the stock market podcast today with a very beautiful quote from Steve Jobs. Those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world usually do. So let's start the podcast now. The Indian finance minister said that the economy will return to growth in financial year 22 after a sharp contraction in financial year 21. She further added that higher public spending will lay the foundation for stronger growth over the next 4 to 5 years. US FDA said that the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is safe and effective. It could grant emergency usage and distribution sometime later this week. The FDA found that the vaccine was found to be effective after just the first dose and after the second dose it was found to be 95% effective. Boris Johnson travels to Brussels for dinner with Ursula von der on Wednesday as both sides seek to save Brexit trade negotiations. India may approve some coronavirus vaccines over the next few weeks and an estimated 300 million people would be vaccinated in the first tranche, the country's top health official said. The U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen presented a new USD $916 billion COVID-19 relief proposal to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in the first move by the Trump administration since Election Day to break a months-long standoff. Thailand's cabinet approved a new phase of fiscal stimulus program to boost consumer spending worth Thai bar $22.5 billion, that is around USD $748 million. And now coming to the crude and the gold price news. So gold prices are trading lower by optim- optimism on uh, vaccine front, but supported by investors' expectation of fresh U.S. fiscal stimulus. The prevalent Brexit uncertainty and expectation of further global monetary stimulus capped losses at lower levels. Gold is trading presently at 1869.80 per ounce. Now coming to the gold, global crude oil prices are trading lower on concern over an unexpected jump in US oil inventory last week. But positive news on COVID-19 vaccines lifted investors' hope for a recovery in fuel demand that capped losses. U.S. crude oil inventory rose by 1.14 million barrels last week, worse than market expectation of a draw of 1.42 million barrels as per API report. Bent crude prices are trading at USD 48.68 per barrel. So that's all for today's podcast. Please subscribe to our channel for daily update of the market. And thank you and have a nice day.